Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. It was certainly an important moment for, for Britain. Um, you know, you can argue about throughout the Second World War, is there a single turning point? It's definitely a turning point in the war. Uh, I think Germany's main aim in the Battle of Britain was really to disable the RAF, to break um, you know, Britain's air power, to make an invasion a more sort of credible uh, solution, you know, to, to make an invasion possible if Britain had its full um, full support of its fighters and the, and the air power, you know, you're looking at quite serious casualties and trying to land an invasion on the shores of Britain. So I think that was one of their primary aims. Also, you know, the act of um, taking out RAF forces, gaining air superiority, you know, breaking the morale of, of the British public would have been an important thing to do as well in regards to maybe swaying support against the war effort in Britain. Um, the Spitfire was very aerodynamic. Um, it had those wonderfully large elliptical wings, um, which made it very manoeuvrable in the air. It gave it great lift. And those wings were also very thin. So you had a very large wing, but it wasn't that heavy. And that really helped the aircraft perform well. It also meant you could cram in lots of machine guns um, and, and cannons in the, you know, as, as the armaments developed as well. Uh, the Spitfire was also very fast. Um, it had a very reliable engine in the Rolls-Royce Merlin. The Spitfire was a revolutionary design. Um, clearly there's lots of other great aircraft designs um, we remember from the Second World War. The Spitfire is not alone in that, but it's all metal body, it's streamlined design, the elliptical wings, something about the Spitfire kind of brings together the idea of something that looks great. Spitfire changed dramatically um, from you know, the, when it first went into production in 1938 through to the late 40s when they were still being built. Aviation industry is such, a, it's such an infant state, you can't go to university and do a degree in you know, aerodynamics or, or aircraft design. By the time the First World War uh, breaks out, it's barely been 10 years since the Wright Brothers' first flight. You know, you've got to give it a 10 in terms of its impact and its legacy as an aircraft.